this contest is truly an heavyweight contest this time. And six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions and a knockout, gonna decide the winner. Now, introducing on my right, a wrestler known throughout Europe as the One Man Riot Squad. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, King Conquer. His opponent in the blue corner, Wild Angus. Wild Angus. And the final bar of the afternoon between uh, King Kong Mal Kirk of Featherstone, Yorkshire, 23 stone 2. There he is on the left back to us and his opponent wild angus now of manchester but formerly of scotland at a mere 19 stone seven six five minute rounds two falls to decide this one dave reese is the third man in the ring on this occasion and anything could happen here and probably will. Away, round one <laughs> Really two enormous men. Kirk always reminds me of a Japanese sumo wrestler. He's just about the shape and size. Very powerful with it, of course. 23 stone odd. And who'd be Dave Reese, the referee, trying to separate these two? Anyway, six rounds of this, two falls to decide it. <laughs> Thinking about a straight right to the uh, Kirk jaw as early as round one. Didn't land it, but he thought of him. Considering it's throwing 23 stone plus. Bear hug. Now that is Kirk's favorite. Especially the reverse bear hug, but he's got a straight one on at the moment. Now can Wild Angus counter this? Seems to do to counter it. It's still there. Hope they follow any of three directions they like. The other three sides of the ring, please. <laughs> All from the double interlock, strength hole. We're going to get a lot of strength holes in this part.
He's gone, but he's uh, gone too far for Angus' point of view. He can't uh, continue that move at all. His man lying right underneath the bottom rope. And the referee trying to get a break here. But he, Angus doesn't want to know about breaking this hold at all. Dave Reese is going to have problems in this one. I don't know how Wild Angus can see what he's doing for a start with that hair coming right over his face much of the time. But he's got his left knee right as near as he can get to the throat of Kirk. Well, it's just 30 seconds to go now, so the double interlock is still there, and the referee still hasn't really managed to break them. What is he supposed to do? Force them? He's got a little chance if they just won't break, so sort of disqualify them both. Right on the bell, round one. And let's go and have a look at Big Mal Kirk. I don't think there's any chance of getting an interval at all here because these two men will not release the finger in the locks. Whatever the referee says. Things away, round two. And Dave Reese is in the middle. Well, good luck, Dave Reese. This is the start of round three, believe it or not. Still the finger in the lock on both hands. Neither of them have the slightest intention of releasing it. Hold. Interesting to see these two Indian wrestling. I wonder which come off best. check pull on from the uh, interlocks hardly making any difference to either man a great find now angus thinking of something else here to try and release the the finger interlocks he's got the near arm lever with a grapevine on the curved left leg say that uh, Kirk is not getting the best of this box so far in these early rounds, but seems to have an awful lot of stamina, this man. He's a former rugby league player, of course, of, of note. He wasn't quite so heavy then when he was playing for Featherston, Doncaster and or Wakefield. He went to all three. He prop forward. Caught because Kirk threw him across in front of him to prevent, and he really can't blame Angus for that. He gets a public warning, but Kirk both gets a public warning, I think. The referee gives the first public warning to King Kong Kirk for pulling him in front of his opponent. First public warning to King Kong Kirk. So it was Kirk, quite rightly, getting the public warning. I was rather afraid that he was going to hand it out to Wild Angus, who it was quite unintentional to throw into the referee there. The referee was thrown across at the last second. A couple of minutes to go in the third. 
Still no sign of any score here. Nothing but strength holds so far. Both men sweating profusely. And one public warning against Kirk for trying that trick with the referee. Still no fist being used there. Yeah, still that side of the hand shot to the, to the side of the mat. Those four arms. side of the hand. Less than a minute now. Oh yes. Yes, caught him beautifully there. Tricked him nicely, Angus. Kurt going in thinking he got a chance of a bear hug there, but up came that foot. Almost behind Kurt and caught it. Yes, he's got the big man down. really much time to restart here another move but of course neither of them know that and so they do start another move which can't have time to come to anything well this is interval time after the end of the round three and it's going to be interesting to see whether they take a notice of it this time <laughs> Wild Angus in a position he doesn't want to stay in, but he can't get out of it. Kirk finally releases him, but only three seconds before they've got a restart for round four. Second away, round three. So the start of round four, with three rounds to go. And still no score, except that Mal Kirk the big man on the right, shaven head. One public warning against him. And he comes in straight with the same move that he had at the end of that last round and wouldn't give up. The pressure points at the side of the neck. He's going for, but it's very difficult to see whether he's got them right because that hair is right in our vision there. Out of the forearm, top of the head. Forearm into the stomach. Again to the head. And illegal use of the ropes here. And Dave Reese has got another problem to try and get him out of there. Oh dear, Dave Reese is going to have real problems in this one. He gets in there, he might never get out. It's if it continues, of course, you'll end up just having to disqualify the pair of them, and that'll be the end of the bar. Head chancery now a wrestling hole by Angus and a nice throw from it. Inside of the knee came down on his face there. A drop it to Angus. 
a bit loose because he's not round the neck, but it's round the face. It's a grovet position. And he might get away with it by turning that head. Switches, tries to go for the double arm, fails, tries to cross press. And I can't see him getting very far to that one. Now, quite easily. Pushed off by Kirk on that occasion. Let's see if he tries the same. On the count of two, off he goes. So back to the finger interlock. Kirk's left hand, anger swipes. Get posting and the whole ring moved across the floor. Oh. Angus trying to replace it where it was, and I think he's about made it. Two or three inches right across the floor and back again at North End, the whole ring. How it stands up to some of this, I don't know. One minute to go in the fourth. Just a strangle hold by Angus, left arm, holding it on firmly with his right without using the headlock. And he's got just over half a minute to see if he can make this count with a submission. Here in the referee, un unable to spot what's happening there. There's the Angus hair falling right down there in his eye line. <laughs> On the bell anyway. It's just a question whether Dave Reese can force or persuade Wild Angus to release this stranglehold which he's got. Finally, he does it. So maybe we'll get a rough... A wrestler going back to his corner for the first time in his bar. There's Angus on the right. Kirk just about going to make it on the left before they have to restart for round five. Second away, round five. Two to go and still no score. One public warning against Kirk, but no score. All strength holds here. Completely different style of wrestling to the last part between Jones and South. But now it seems to be warming a bit. In fact, Kirk coming in there with his ideas of posting and Angus going right over the top there. And it just depends how he's landed on the apron of the ring as to whether he'll get back quickly. The ring's going the other way this time. The crutch hole and slam to Kirk. The follow down with a crushed cross press, and it could be the first one to Kirk. It is. Just under a minute into round five. First one to Kirk. And 55 seconds of round five. First ball of the contest goes to the one man riot squad, King Conker. One round to go, and whether this man can come up and get the equalizer, or whether he can uh, even get a knockout win here, we'll see. But he'll have to go pretty soon, because any second now, the final round bell. Seconds away, sixth and final round. So, Mal Kirk is back to us there. He's an enormous shaven-headed fellow. King Kong, they call him. Yes. Leads by one fall to nil. And everybody here what, wondering whether it, Angus can uh, get back in here. 
and get the equalizer. Oh, all that weight, and he got him. He's trying for the cross press, now he's got him down, and he has. <laughs> oh, well, what a turn up. Kirk will be fuming mad about that one. In just 35 seconds of the final round, it's one each, a draw. In 35 seconds of the sixth and final round, the equalizing fall goes to Wild Angus. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the referee says both wrestlers gaining one fall apiece. His decision of this contest is a draw. Ladies and gentlemen, Wild Angus and King Kong Cup. Thank you, Brian Crabtree, our MC for the afternoon's program. And with that one fall each draw, at the end of that bout, it's goodbye from all of us here at Preston. Hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good time. Till next time.